What are the strongest military aircrafts of the Belgian Army? What tough machines lie in their arsenal? And can they compete to conquest the skies? Well, today we'll find out together, exploring the top 10 most powerful military aircrafts of the Belgian Air Force. In this list, we'll include aircrafts, helicopters, and drones in service in the Belgian Army. But what do you think is the most powerful flying machine in their arsenal? Write it down in the comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see much more rankings of the best military vehicles in the world. And now let's dive deep into the military world with the 10th machine in our list. Number 10, Airbus H145. The Airbus H145, originally known as the Eurocopter EC145, is a versatile twin-engine helicopter widely used for both civilian and military purposes. Developed from the MBB Kawasaki BK-117, this light utility helicopter has evolved significantly over the years. One of the most notable upgrades includes the replacement of its traditional tail rotor with a Fenestron, followed by the introduction of a five-bladed main rotor, which enhances its performance and maneuverability. In military service, the H145M variant is used for various missions, including troop transport, medical evacuation, reconnaissance, and light attack roles. Its flexibility and advanced features make it a valuable asset in operations worldwide, including within the Belgian Army. Number 9. Augusta Westland AW109 the AW109, originally developed as the Augusta A109, is a lightweight twin-engine helicopter designed in Italy. It was the first mass-produced helicopter built entirely by an Italian manufacturer, making its mark in both civilian and military sectors. Introduced in the mid-1970s, the AW109 quickly became known for its versatility, serving a range of roles from VIP transport to search and rescue operations. Its adaptability is a key feature, with models available for both land and sea missions, and many offering convertible interiors to switch between functions rapidly. Over the years, the AW109 has seen several upgrades, including alternative engines and expanded fuselages, with production continuing under its successor, Leonardo. The Belgian Army uses the AW109 in military operations, benefiting from its speed, agility, and capacity to handle diverse missions such as reconnaissance and medical evacuation. Its ongoing production and international partnerships reflect its enduring success and reliability. Number 8. NH Industries NH-90 the NH-90 is a versatile, medium-sized, twin-engine helicopter developed for both land and naval military operations. It is the first production helicopter to feature fully fly-by-wire controls and makes extensive use of advanced composite materials. The NH-90 has two primary versions. The Tactical Transport Helicopter, designed for Army missions such as Troop Transport and Medevac, and the NATO Frigate Helicopter, optimized for naval tasks like anti-submarine warfare, in search and rescue at sea. Developed to meet NATO requirements, the NH-90 has been in service since 2007 and is operated by multiple countries, including Belgium. Despite its advanced technology, the NH-90 has faced challenges related to high maintenance and software issues, but it remains a critical asset in military operations, offering flexibility in transporting personnel, conducting special missions, and providing disaster relief. Number 7. Lockheed F-104 Starfighter The F-104 Starfighter was a groundbreaking American supersonic interceptor and multi-role fighter that served during the Cold War. Originally designed in the 1950s as a lightweight, high-performance aircraft, it became famous for its sleek design and ability to reach extreme speeds and altitudes. The F-104 had a brief but impactful service with the United States Air Force, participating in key events like the Second Taiwan Strait Crisis and the Vietnam War. However, its limited range and engine issues led to its early retirement from American service. Internationally, the F-104 achieved greater success, especially in Europe and among NATO allies, including Belgium. 
where it played a key role in air defense. A major production program was established in Europe, making it one of the largest international military manufacturing efforts of its time. Despite its remarkable capabilities, the Starfighter's export success was overshadowed by controversies, including allegations of corruption involving Lockheed. Number 6. SIIE Marchetti SIF-260 The SIIE Marchetti SF-260, now known as the Leonardo SF-260, is an Italian-designed light aircraft primarily used for military training and aerobatics. Designed by Stelio Frati, the aircraft first took flight in 1964 and was initially produced by Avia Milano before production shifted to SIIE Marchetti. Over the years, it has become a popular choice for military forces around the world due to its versatility and reliability as a trainer. The SF-260 is used by many smaller air forces as both a trainer and a light attack aircraft, particularly in its armed version, the SF-260W Warrior. This model is equipped for close air support missions, offering a cost-effective solution for nations with smaller defense budgets. The aircraft has been produced in both piston and turboprop-powered versions, catering to a range of operational needs. Number 5. Airbus A400M Atlas The A400M Atlas is a versatile four-engine turboprop military transport aircraft designed to meet the demanding needs of modern air forces. Developed by Airbus Military, now Airbus Defense and Space, it serves as both a tactical and strategic airlifter, filling the gap between smaller aircraft like the Lockheed C-130 Hercules and larger planes such as the Boeing C-17 Globemaster III. The A400M can transport heavier payloads than the C-130 and operate on rough or unpaved landing strips, making it ideal for diverse missions. In addition to transporting troops and equipment, the A400M can be outfitted for aerial refueling and medical evacuation, adding to its versatility. Its first flight took place in December 2009, though the program faced challenges due to delays and cost overruns. Number 4. F-16 Fighting Falcon Conversion Trainer The F-16 Fighting Falcon, designed by General Dynamics, is a single-engine, supersonic multi-role fighter aircraft originally developed for the United States Air Force. First introduced in the 1970s, it was conceived as a day fighter, but quickly evolved into a versatile all-weather combat aircraft. With over 4,600 units produced since its inception, the F-16 has seen service across the world and remains one of the most widely used fighter jets in history. Notable for its frameless bubble canopy, which enhances pilot visibility, the F-16 also features a side-mounted control stick and an ejection seat reclined to mitigate the effects of G-forces. The aircraft is powered by a single turbofan engine, carries an internal M61 Vulcan cannon, and can be equipped with a variety of external weaponry via its 11 hardpoints. Number 3. F-16 Fighting Falcon Multi-Role The General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon is an American single-engine, supersonic, multi-role fighter aircraft originally designed for the United States Air Force. Initially developed as an air superiority day fighter, it has evolved into a versatile, all-weather aircraft capable of a wide range of missions. Since its introduction in 1976, over 4,600 units have been built. Although the U.S. Air Force no longer purchases new F-16s, Enhanced versions continue to be produced for international export key features of the F-16 include a frameless bubble canopy for superior visibility, a side-mounted control stick for easier maneuverability, and an ejection seat angled 30 degrees to reduce G-force strain on pilots. It was also the first aircraft to incorporate a relaxed static stability fly-by-wire flight control system, which makes it highly agile. Number 2. F-35 Lightning II The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is a family of single-seat, single-engine, stealth multi-role combat aircraft designed for air superiority and strike missions, with additional capabilities in electronic warfare, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. 
Lockheed Martin leads the project with key partners Northrop Grumman and BAE Systems. There are three primary variants, the F-35A, the F-35B, and the F-35C. The F-35 evolved from the Lockheed Martin X-35, which won the Joint Strike Fighter competition in 2001. It is primarily funded by the United States with contributions from partner nations, including NATO allies and other close partners like the United Kingdom, Australia, and Canada. Despite being the most advanced fighter, the program has faced criticism for high costs, delays, and the challenges of producing and developing it simultaneously. Number 1 MQ-9 Reaper the General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper, also known as Predator B, is an unmanned aerial vehicle developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems for the United States Air Force. It is a remotely piloted vehicle capable of both autonomous and remotely controlled flight operations. The MQ-9 is a more advanced successor to the MQ-1 Predator, featuring a 950 shaft horsepower turboprop engine, which allows it to carry a significantly larger payload and operate at higher speeds. The Reaper is primarily used in a hunter-killer role, combining long endurance, high-altitude surveillance with strike capabilities. It is controlled by ground crews in a ground control station, which monitors and directs the UAV's flight and weapons deployment. And there you have it, folks. These were the 10 strongest military aircrafts of the Belgian Air Force. Did your machine make the list? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see much more rankings like this.